Hi everyone, let's discuss a question from the chapter Electromagnetic Waves which is asked in JE Main 2018. Two waves are given, Q1 equal to E0 cos 2 pi into Z by C minus T in air and E2 equal to E0 to cos K 2Z minus C T in some medium where the wave number is K frequency is V. The med new medium in non magnetic okay the given medium is non magnetic if er1 and er2 refers to relative permittivities of air and medium respectively which of the following are correct so before going to the solution let's rewrite the equation here given e1 equal to e01 cos 2 pi nu z by c minus t into x cap and in medium electric field is given as e02 cos k into 2 z minus c t into x cap we have to find out er1 by er2 er1 by er2 so to solve this question we can use the concept of wave equation so comparing the given two equation with e equal to e0 cos kx minus omega t where velocity v equal to omega by k now comparing first equation with this equation k equal to 2 pi nu instead of x we have z here in both case it is given in z direction k is 2 pi nu and omega also equal to 2 pi Nu, 2 pi nu by c this is for first wave so velocity is omega by k which will be equal to 2 pi nu by 2 pi nu by c which is c so velocity of first wave similarly comparing second wave see k equal to 2k and omega t omega equal to c so k by omega will be equal to v equal to omega by k which will be equal to let's check the equation 2 equation 2 is given as k into 2 z minus ct so it is k into 2 z minus ct so omega is k into c velocity equal to omega by k which will be kc by 2k which is c by 2 so we get v1 and v2 now velocity and permeability and permittivity is related as velocity of light is given as 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0 in air in a medium velocity will be 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0 mu r epsilon r in the question it is given that medium is non magnetic so we can say velocity is proportional to 1 by root of epsilon 0 epsilon r epsilon 0 is a constant therefore velocity is proportional to 1 by root of epsilon r therefore we can write v1 by v2 whole square equal to epsilon 2 by 
epsilon 1 epsilon r1 r2 by epsilon r1 where r1 is the medium 1 and r2 is the medium 2 therefore epsilon r1 by epsilon r2 equal to v2 by v1 whole square v2 is c by 2 v1 is c c by 2 by c whole square equal to 1 by 4 so our final answer is 1 by 4 let's check the options epsilon r1 by epsilon r2 equal to 1 by 4 it is option d to know more about the concept of wave equation you can watch the video here which is of small duration you can go through the books ncrt physics part 1 page number 275 line number 30 and concept of physics part 2 by hc verma and optics and modern physics by dc pante thank you